he is, by all means, uh, I would say, supposed to be there. Because, you know, ever since he was little, that's something he dreamed about. That's something he talked about. I was invited to the childhood home of Fayetteville native and now Kansas City Chiefs cornerback Josh Williams. Now, how old is he there? His father, George, showing me pictures that tell the story behind his son's success, playing football since he was five years old. And he didn't like losing. He would literally, tears would come out of his eyes when he lose a game. Losing sometimes is part of, you know, winning. You got to learn how to lose so that you can become a more gracious winner. This wall is dedicated to Josh's football accomplishments. Well, all of these are gifts. The two from the top is from the school, the bottom one, was done by one of his line brothers. The 23-year-old is the youngest of three children. Brian Johnson is Josh's cousin, but the pair were raised like brothers. He might be in the league, but I'm still a better football player than he is. I'm just going to throw that out there. But uh, it's, it's great to see him come this far because I know the work he's put in. I asked him to share something few people know about Josh. He's probably one of the funniest dudes you've met, but he's also one of the most level-headed. Williams was the first HBCU student drafted into the NFL since 2020. His college football coach is calling him an impressive player. Now, Fayetteville State University leadership seeing his success as a model for HBCU college football recruitment. I said to Josh, when you can be the bridge uh, that for many cases where we only look at Division I players, that there are a number of Division II players in the nation that deserve a shot. And you can be the one, Joshua. And just in case you were wondering, Josh's father has a prediction for the game. And the Eagles are going to get dusted, but it's going to be a nice close game. I'm in Fayetteville. Akilah Davis, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.